We did so many good things, um, but the things we didn't do outweighed, un unfortunately, in the end. And we, you know, they got they got their mojo going in the last quarter, and we weren't able to fight back. But. Yeah, it wasn't only shots on goal. It was kicking efficiency all over the ground, a bit of handball, um, fundamentals. We've been working really hard for two weeks on um, our ability to compete, um, our intensity in the contest. We've been talking about it, we've been training it. Um, I'm proud of the way they went about that, but at an AFL level, if you're going to give the ball straight back to the opposition, we found ourselves back foot you know, poor, poor accuracy in front of goal. It ends up giving momentum to the opposition. Especially disappointing that that's happening um, with the experienced players as well as the, the younger guys, like they're all making those mistakes. Yeah, uh, that's, that's probably the most concerning part for, for us as a group is, you know, if a, if a Ned McHenry's not hitting a target, well, that's OK. We'll, we know he's going to get better and the speed of the game's probably a challenge for him at the moment. Um, but some of our older guys are struggling to do it at this point in time. So we've, um, we've got work to do. We've got to go away now and continue to train the contest. You know, we were able to get that back. What were we, plus 18? Uh, sorry, what were we in the contest? Plus 10, 15 in the, co in the contest. Well, that's great. But we give it straight back to them. Um, so we'll go away and we'll, we'll balance out what we're training and we'll We'll get as many skills in as we can, and it's the next challenge. Is this one a little bit more disappointing, Pat, given the position you're in? You're able to hit the scoreboard with some scoring shots as opposed to only being in the game for a sort of quarter last week. Is this one a little bit more of a stinger? It stings because you, you want to win it. You know, you think to yourself, you look at the, the numbers and the, the screens lighting up green, you've got KPIs you're after, and we're, we're hitting all of them other than putting the ball between the big sticks. So it stings like that, but there's you know there's a lot of positive to come out of it, and and we'll find that, and we'll get better with the stuff we've got to work on. Um, I mean, it was such a howler from a, a disposal point of view that you know, we just we'll move that to the side and we'll talk through some of the other detail today. But then we will go and train. Um, that's back home now. We we get back to Adelaide and we go back there and work on our skill execution because if if we execute like that, it doesn't it doesn't matter how you play in the fight you. You know, you're going to struggle to win games. Do you hope that will make things easier for the players being able to go back home now and catch up with their families and, and then come back to the club and their surroundings and stuff like that? It'll be good to see families. That'll be that'll be great for our group. But at the same time, we we quite enjoyed being up here. We were we were together and you know, like we'll, we'll do now, we'll stick together. Um, but then we get to jump on a flight and head home. Um, I don't think it makes a lot of difference to be honest. It was great being up here in a in a hub environment and being able to. Uh, worked through it. Um, we weren't getting results we were after, but we were off field. We were getting some great results off field. Um, today's just a, it's a setback for us. It's 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 really disappointing now. And you know sometimes you can look gutted as a coach. Oh, it's only because we want to win. Um, but we've got things we've got to get better at. How are you feeling? First year coaching in ridiculously challenging circumstances, and you know, having got to win, and then come today with a genuine winner. How are you, how are you emotionally just the whole damn thing? You might have to ask some of the others. Uh, look, I, I'm okay because I know that we're, we're on a longer journey. We're, on, we're, on, we're in a position at the moment where I'm seeing some really good stuff. I'm seeing some great progress made by individuals. Um, the, the most frustrating part as a coach is I know they've got it right there and it's, and it's just sitting under the surface. It's so close. Um, but at the moment, there's been there's been a lot of um, distractions for these players, um, protocols, travel away from home. Um, you, know, you can't go to the shops. You can't do extra training. Um, we're doing whatever we can to to work within those, as is every club. So, as a coach, you're asking me as a coach. Well, yeah, I'm frustrated. Um, we're used to being able to work with players 24/7 and and we really get our hands dirty and go to work. It's, it's been frustrating not having that access, um, but we'll slowly get there as society comes back to normal. And um, I know we'll turn it around quickly.
that put a premium on your leadership? I suppose are you getting as much as you need out of your leaders? Yeah, we are. Well, again, it's it's a, it's an on-field and off-field issue at this point. Um, you know, some some amazing progress being made off-field, um, and our leaders on-field are, are again a little bit inconsistent with their performance, but showing enough that okay, we're seeing a glimpse of what's coming. Um, so again, I'm, I'm positive around what what we're doing in that space. Um, It'd be nice just to see it transfer into a full game. I mean, today we yeah, we let ourselves down in front of goal. It was something. It was something else. It wasn't a consistent thing where we're looking at contest again. We're now going. Okay, we got that right. The wheel turns, and so we'll go back and set some goals up. Start kicking goals. We've got to make sure we don't forget about the other stuff. What do you make of uh, Shane McGavin? I love. I love Shano. I love him. I'm not going to hide from it. He's a. Uh, He's an exciting player. Um, he plays in a position where he needs us to bring that ball to him uh, and feed him, but he's, he's got a bright future ahead of him. And we're all proud of what he's been able to do in, in a short period of time. Um, if I just ask about Sam McClure's article, it was referenced to the camp, obviously it was before your time at Adelaide, you would have been at Port Adelaide 2018. Yep. Um, did you read it? Yes. What did you make of it? Uh, I didn't take too much in, to be honest, because at this point, I mean, that was this morning, um, we had a fair bit on our plate today. Um, I'll have another read, and I mean, there's not much I, I can do. I wasn't here, with all respect. Um, but I, you know, I know today we were just focused on the on the game at hand. Unfortunately, we let ourselves down with with shots on goal. Do um, I know players try and steer clear of these sorts of things? Do you think it could have had a negative effect on some players having some of those details exposed publicly? And uh, again, hard one for me to answer, Theo. It's, um, I can't speak for others. Um, but, you know, we just didn't quite get it done, did we? In, in your brief time at the club, have you ever got the vibe that it is perhaps a lingering issue for some players? What happened? No, no. All my conversations with our players are about moving forward. You know, you come in as a, as a coach and you start to talk about the future. You start to talk about where you're heading as a club. And we've done an amazing job with that I mean we're in such a good space at the moment as a group of players and I've, I've said this publicly you know what's going on behind closed doors I'd love to open those doors right up in fact I've, I probably am I've got Amazon here so hey guys it'll all come out we're, I mean we're doing some amazing stuff as a footy club um, it doesn't seem that way if, if, if you're not within the walls and that's unfortunate we, we can't help that and I totally understand why people have um you know, have their opinions and say what they say. But until you actually get inside and see what's going on, um, I've said it before, you, you're never that far away and you're never that good. But at the moment, we're, we're not that far away. So you, you say you're ready, you'll have another read again, not to harp on about it, but there are some players like Bryce you've mentioned and, and some other guys. Will you look to chat with those guys about any concerns they may still have? Yeah, I'll talk to them again. I'll, I'll go back and just say, how, you, how are you feeling? And... Um, again, I'll read it in a little bit more detail and we'll have those conversations. There's no, we don't hide anything. We have, we have great open communication around how our guys are going, what affects them, how do we get them to play their best footy. That's, that's what we're about. That's what a coach is, is here to do. Um, at this point, we've got to get better as a coaching group because that's, that's not happening just at the moment.